In this guide, we run through the how, why and when of nail clipping for ferrets. So let's jump straight into it. Ferrets use their claws for many things, such as digging and scratching, or grabbing and holding, but not for walking. In this clip, look how the ferret's nails sit naturally higher than the ground, both when stood still and when walking. You can see here that Bonville's nails are borderline too long, any longer and they'd push his toes up when walking. We therefore need to clip the ferret's nails to ensure that they are short enough so as to avoid uncomfortable walking position. To do this, we need the right tool for the job. Here's a selection of tools, which in theory could cut nails, but in practice, only the last one is recommended. Take the traditional human nail clippers, for example. Sure, they can cut ferret nails, but they're not a great idea for a number of reasons. Firstly, they're a bit difficult to fit nails in accurately. Secondly, they are designed for human nails, hence the wide, pressure-activated cutting. But for ferret nails, they can cause a crushing of the nail. In this clip, we can see that the human clippers crush the stick before cutting. Whereas the purpose-built pet clippers slice through with no crushing. Next, we consider standard scissors. Again, the scissors can be used to cut a nail, but it's a poor tool for the job. Firstly, they have a way too big cutting length, which risks cutting more than just the nail. Second, as shown here, the straight scissors can cause the nail to slide away, leading to an uncontrolled cut. The third option is a pet clipper, but is designed principally for dogs and larger cats. It works well on ferrets, but it's just a bit too big and chunky to work perfectly for them. Hence the final option being the best choice. Its rounded cutting areas keeps the nail in place and is a slim design ensuring ease of precise placement of the nail. Which leads us on to where to cut the nail. The ferret's nail contains both a blood vessel and nerve endings. It's called a quick. It is the visible red line within the nail. It is important not to cut the quick. This will cause the ferret's nail to bleed and will be quite painful. When cutting the nail, cut a comfortable distance from the end of the quick. Depending on the ferret, you may have a relatively easy time at nail clipping. Binky here is being quite patient, as have all B models in the prior clips. However, if your ferret is not playing ball, then a drop of salmon oil or two on the belly will keep them more than occupied whilst you carry out the procedure. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe and try out some of our other videos.